What's up, what's up, what's up? Coming with you with some quantum break on uh, Windows 10. Now, I upgraded my RAM in this because it wouldn't run before. It still says that. So, I'm pretty sure it's going to look horrible. It will run, I know that for a fact. I'm just pretty sure it's going to look horrible. <laughs> so, let's test this shit out. I'm still uploading this to YouTube no matter what. I'm pretty sure it's gonna look a little horrible like graphics wise because I have to have all the graphics minimized all the way down but alright let's see uh, first how about this go back go back let me check out options controls alright walk is holding caps lock shoot is pushing the mouse button alright no, don't want to reset. Let's go back. Go to new game. Let's do this on normal. Alright, let's do this. Act 1, part 1. I'm going to uh, X-Men Apocalypse in a few hours. So, actually probably less than a few hours. So, let's see if I can at least get Act 1 done in most of it. Arrived at Riverquake University. I came back home to see my best friend Paul Spring. He wanted to show me what it had worked on. My brother Will was a scientist. He was also involved. Paul said it was world changing. Now this is the part where it would always freeze on me before I upgraded my RAM from 4 gigabytes to 8 so it should work because I tested it out it should work flawlessly or kind of sorta let's see I had tested it out before I did another new game and it worked the first time so don't fuck up on me now <laughs> Paul and I had kept in touch, but, well, not so much. How did it make you feel? I was just happy. I guess I gotta enter the universe. See, look at it. It's really horrible. Now, look how it looks like it's lagging like that. I'm not sure if that's what it's gonna look like in the video. I'm pretty sure, but it says press up to move. Let's see. Yeah, it's lagging horribly. Hold on, let me see if I can go into the settings. Oh, Jack! You just got to the campus. Where are you? Uh, we need to clear up the writing system. It's not a good story. 
Well, let me see if I can go into the settings, go down to options, uh, go over to display. Okay, graphics is on low, okay. Volume lighting is medium. How about I switch that to... Oh, the lowest setting is medium. Alright, so I can't even switch that. Subtitles off. Hub visibility on. Brightness. A lock 230 frames per second. Full screen mode on. Resolution. Let me see what the resolution is. Uh, is that the lowest resolution? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Alright, well, it looks like that's as good as I'm gonna get it. It's gonna look shitty the whole fucking time. Which irritates me. And in this uh, laptop, I can't actually upgrade the graphics card over the RAM. Still haven't told me what this is. I know. See you soon. Bye, Fran. Why not wait till morning? Hold on, I was a bit of showman. Alright, back up a little bit. Back up a little bit. E. Push E, alright? I push E. Some protest. Now where do I have to meet this school at, yo? I'm trying to look around, but the graphics are horrible. Apparently I can't click on that or something. Oh, there it goes. Protests seem like a lost cause. cause. Maybe, Maybe sympathize, sympathize with the students. students. If you're with that fraternity, you've done enough damage for being shut down. down. Yeah, I come, come in peace. peace. I'm, I'm just meeting a friend nearby. Yeah, tell me about it. Well, we're spreading awareness about climate solutions, so, so if you want to know how badly they're giving, giving us the shaft, then you can just ask me. Alright, what's going on here? Okay. How would you feel if you knew a corporate monopoly was taking a massive dump all over your personal history? Uh, that's quite an order. Good. Because that beautiful library over there is over a hundred years old. It's part of the city's heritage. And Modern Solutions plans to tear it down tomorrow. Do you want to know why? We've got to chat with all the details. Check out the chart. Alright, I got you, girl. I got you. I'm going over by the chart. 
Are you interested? Or are you just lurking around? Mom is turning on the library to work on a research facility. For what? I bet you can tell me. We need to push their corporate agenda. I mean, look at those numbers. They're slowly taking over the city and everybody's completely blind to it. It doesn't look good. Hey, I gotta meet my friend, but... But, okay? Alright. Enjoy your pretty call. Exactly. Paul had always been hungry for success. It's driven. We had to find a lot of those top young professionals to this. And now he was coordinating some huge project at the university. It's a big deal for him. Damn, stop fucking running. I stopped holding the fucking run button for the longest time. You made a long trip just to see a research project? You won't read between the lines, Paul was under a lot of pressure. He needed a friend. I wanted to help him, man. Son of a bitch. Jack Joyce! In the flesh! The esteemed Mr. Paul Serene! That's weird, it shows a fucking patch on his face, but I know it's not really there. Six years. Oh, don't get it. You like go your way and then come yeah, back. Me too. Come on. This way. We're going upstairs to the project lab. How was the flight? First class. Thank you for that. Step up from our van trip to Utah. I missed that van. I'm guessing Will's not meeting us. He doesn't know we're here. I knew Paul had asked my brother Will to consult on his project. Will was all the family I had, but he was difficult. Let me call him. Yo, Paul, you think you got enough space here? Well, you know, us business types can somewhere practice our putting. Check out some of the shit that's clickable. But shit's just get in my way. Well, 
we'll get to your lab. I wanted to see your presentation. I know you love this stuff. Come on, man. That's me. Well, if you insist, progress. Our primary drive is species. Over time, we have cured life threatening illnesses. Explore the world. Oh, good. Going to the market spiel. Don't ruin my flow. There is one element which denies us true progress. Time itself. Now, I'm not a scientist, but here's what's been explained to me. We've known that, in theory, a rotating black hole creates a deformation in space time, potentially allowing travel through both space and time. Years ago, William Joyce, your brother, posited the existence of chronon particles, now known as Maya Joyce particles, which flow in all encompassing fields, enabling the constant and steady progression of time. Through the project Chronon, we have combined both these theories to discover a way to manipulate the field. The results are staggering. There's more, but that's enough of a plan for now. All right, let's do this. Yeah. So this is about quantum physics. Paul, you know my brother spent years stuck down in a rabbit hole. Is that why you brought Will in as a consultant? When Dr. King passed away, your brother was the obvious choice to bring into place. The city changed. Hall changed. It didn't feel right being back. It was your hometown. In six years, you never felt any desire to return? There was always more keeping you away. From the desk. Will overreacted. Scared off the investors, ranted about miscalculations, dangers, all with no evidence. It works. They're going to cut our funding if I don't prove it. Jack, thank you. Anyone could count on you. 
Where is Alright, stop running, fool. I gotta push off and just keep when running. Oh, that's deep. I could tell this was different. Still, I didn't understand how massive the far reaching consequences for this would be. How could I? I knew Paul. He played it cool, but I could tell he was nervous. It's going to be amazing. Alright, I think I already read that. Ready? It's like we're launching a nuke. Wait, 
We're not launching a new, right? One way to find out. Three, two, one. Jack. What? You didn't say zero. Come on, man. We need ground rules. Okay, you turn. I'll follow. Close enough. God damn. What is this? A car door. The passenger entered with one end, traveled around the loop, and with the other, and arrived at the predetermined time in the physical location where the machine is situated in that time. Damn it, you ran right by it, motherfucker. Jack. Yes, I time. know you've been impatient. This is a lot to take in. Give me a sec. Okay, you little bitch. Stop running in the same fucking spot. Push E. Hello. Two minutes to the past. Remember this moment. Right 
This motherfucker's tripping. Okay, now he's going this way. Few wheels were to my head. Time is it's going to end. I can't go through there.
That was the first time my power started to manifest. An out of control burst of energy to save you all. Alright, so I did Act 1, Part 1. This is Act 1, Part 2. But I'm about to uh, bounce for a little bit. I'm going to see X Men Apocalypse. So, uh, yeah. Hopefully, everybody enjoyed. The graphics were shit. I understand because my laptop is shit, but I've been wanting to play this game and I'm not buying an Xbox One just for one game. So, uh, alright everybody, deuces, hopefully y'all enjoyed, like this video, even if it's shitty graphics, still like the shit out of it, and subscribe if you feel like it, alright everybody, deuces.